there, Cancer. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Cancer. I'm going to trust if this reading makes it to you, you are meant to see it. <clears throat> I hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thank you. Thank you for that. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email. We can talk about that. Just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of cancer. Anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on a cancer, everyone is welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. But welcome cancer. Let's get you a moon oracle card. Whew, spirit, can we get a message for the sign of cancer? What's going on with cancer? Let's get a moon oracle card. Cancer, what is going on? No, <laughs> maybe, <coughs> excuse me, be bold and make the first move. Ooh, and luck is on your side. The new moon in Sagittarius, be bold and make the first move is the cardinal moon. Huh, be bold and make the first move. I wonder what is going on with you and luck's on your side. We know what that's all about. Time to go play the lottery. Time to give rather than take. Hmm. Maybe don't. Abort. Abort the lottery. <laughs> Time to give rather than take. We'll get into the reading and see what that's all about. I'm never quite sure with that card. Animal Spirit Guide for Up in the Ether for the sign of Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Look at this. Three cards wants to come out. No, more. Four cards. The octopus, the bear, the sea serpent, and the wolf. Look at how intelligent you are, Cancer. You're very, very smart. Kind of soaking in some information right now, learning about something or trying to adapt to something maybe. Coming out of hibernation, you've been in hiding or you've isolated yourself or you're trying to get uh, some kind of bigger understanding. And you got some messy relationships. You're trying to clean it up. You're trying to uh, polish something up. Let's see what that's about. What's going on, Cancer? All of this beautiful animal energy in your uh, area, though. <laughs> I like that. And the elk, look how strong you are. Very, very strong. Filled with some fire right now. You got your eye on the prize with something. You're really, really uh, focused on something. All right. Zen tarot card. Zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of cancer. Cancer, what's going on? Going with the flow came out in reverse. I'm wondering if you're getting stuck in some areas or you're getting emotional or overly emotional. You're feeling that kind of feeling rise up within you when uh, someone is coming up against you or crossing your boundaries or just not letting you relax, not letting you um, spend time in the lazy river, right? They want to go on the rapids. They want to go uh, in, the, uh, in the exciting uh White waters. <laughs> my tongue was tied with this. Look at this with the fool. Oh my goodness. Wow. Aries energy coming into the mix here, but you're taking some kind of leap of faith. You're letting it go. You really are surrendering something to the divine here. It's just like you just don't even care now. You're just going to take that step into the unknown. You've been thinking about it for a while and you're just going for something here. Get you really excited with the elk fire. And it seems very solid, very secure, but there's just something you got to tie up. There's a loose end. There's some kind of loose end. Let's see what that's all about. What are you thinking about? What's on your mind? What is on your mind, Cancer? What is on your mind? We'll see what that one was all about. What's on your mind? Look at that with the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, walking away. Seven of Cups and the world. Wow, you are ending out a massive cycle of really, really... A uh, big, big cycle in your life here. You are ending it out, walking away from something. There's still a little bit of fire there. There's a a, a tie there, a, a spiritual tie there for sure that you're walking away from. But yeah, you're you're. It's a little overwhelming because you gotta you gotta tie up all the loose ends. You gotta plan for this. It's like a big, you know, big European vacation that you gotta plan for. It doesn't just happen. It's not this spontaneous thing happening with you. You've planned this for quite some time. Ending it out now. It's coming to that time that um, you had planned for. 
And so now it's a little bit scary. It's a little bit overwhelming. Did I plan enough? Did I prepare enough? Let's see what, what that's all about. Tell me a little bit more in the mind space for cancer. Tell me a little bit more. Six of Cups, Soulmate Energy. Wow, Cancer, because it's time for something else now. It's time for the next the next uh, phase in love here, the next uh, lesson in love here. Wow, Cancer, this is beautiful. You're moving into a brand new phase in your life with this Fool Energy and the world here. I mean, my God, my God, a huge ending and a huge beginning here. It's just like night and day. It's just really a whole complete different life for you. Ooh, my God, that's big. That's big. The rebel underneath that, like you're starting over. You're starting over. Maybe you're relocating or you're retiring and you're letting go of the workplace altogether here, but you're really, really letting it go and you're on to the next, something that is heart fulfilling. Beautiful, beautiful. What else in the mind space for cancer? What else? What else for cancer? Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cancer. Yes, it is absolutely time to go play those lottery uh, <laughs> numbers. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, it is the end of poverty for you, the end of um, just hanging on by a thread, really, really, just hanging on by a thread to, but bam, but bam, the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups with the Six of Cups, um, the World, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. I mean, you're just, my God, <laughs> this is just a big hurrah, <laughs> the last hurrah. There's a few loose ends that you got to tie up. I mean, this is just getting the invites out. That's the loose end now. I mean, you're done. It is done. You are. This is the windfall you've been waiting for. This is the change you've been waiting for. <sighs> this is a huge, huge move for you. A huge move. But it's just such the right move. It's absolutely the right move. It just makes you feel at home, makes you feel peaceful, makes you feel uh, just that all is right in the world. Finally, uh, again, again, the world is right again for a minute. All right, what's in the heart space for cancer? What is in the heart space for cancer spirit? Oh, my God. Nine of Wands, this beautiful adventure calling you. It's it's all about the heart space. It's all about the fire and your passion and what really drives you and motivates you and gets you out of bed in the morning. It's just really, really about your passion and following your dreams now. There's some kind of shift that has happened now where you're really focused on you and what you want here. It's just a shifting away. It's not a storming out. It's not a slamming the door on any relationship it truly truly is um i'll be back i gotta go i gotta take care of something i gotta go have a me day i gotta uh, uh go uh <laughs> sit in the car by myself for five minutes and just observe it, it's just this beautiful taking care of you cancer this beautiful beautiful um i gotta take care of me and it changes everything and you're starting to get that fire in your belly. You're starting to really, really understand what you want. And you're not tolerating things. You're not tolerating things. It's just if, if the insults are coming, you're shutting them down immediately. It's just, I'm not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not going to dance this dance the rest of our lives. We're going to switch it up. We're going to twirl into something new here. Wow, wow, wow. What else in the heart space for cancer? This beautiful transformation. What else? The ace of wands. There is that inspired action, that inspirited action now. You are in spirit now. So you, you are the muse. You are the creator now. It's absolutely glorious. You're taking control here. King of Pentacles. Money just really, really, really good for you right now. Good luck for you right now. Just really uh, everything you touch seems to turn to gold right now. It's just really go play your numbers. Go do what you normally do. But 
shift it out to anything you have done in the past. You got to really just rid yourself that this has ever been done. It's got to be brand new. It's got to be something you've never played before. It's got to be a new game. It's got to be something that you have no preconceived notion about. You can't have uh, the lottery is just even, um, I wish there was something different because you have all these preconceived notions about even winning the lottery. So yeah, there's just some kind of windfall. There's some kind of lottery that's not the, um, the that you don't have any preconceived notion about. It's, it's like you don't know how to even play this game. It's like you're going to Vegas and you put your, your, your coin into a machine you've never played before. It's something like that where you don't have any idea what you could win. You don't know the amount you could win. It's just something like that that just happens... Uh, just so matter of factly, you're walking out of the airport in Vegas to go home and you throw in something in that machine or something like that. It's just, I, you just didn't even think that was possible. It's just something like that. Beautiful, beautiful cancer. Two of wands, you're in planning mode too, but you've got some kind of inspired action you would like to move forward into here. Some kind of creative endeavor where you can really put your focus on it. And your focus is on you. So this is these are your desires. This is the music you like to listen to. It's like you got control of the radio on the long road trip finally. It's just you just took control. It's just you're not shutting anyone else down, but you, you're taking control. It's just like uh, I got the remote now. I'm taking the remote now. <laughs> I am master of the remote now. Is that the, we'll go with the partnership on the bottom of the deck, right? It's just like, yeah, we're going to watch what I want to watch now. And when I'm not here, you can watch what you want to watch. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Taking the status quo back. What else is in the heart space for cancer? What else for cancer spirit? Tell me more about cancer. Tell me more. Ten of Wands, those burdens. It has been burdensome. And the Justice card. Look at this Libra energy coming into the mix here. This is this has been destined. This has been destined to you here. This is the law here. It really eases some of these burdens, allows you to lay down some of these burdens. There are some burdens here. There's some things burning in the background. There's some things you never got to get off your tongue. There's some issues you never got to have closure on. There's uh, just some loose ends. There's some loose ends that you're trying to tie up. And um, we never get that. We never get that. So you have to just walk away. Sometimes you just never get closure. You just have to understand that. Just sometimes, sometimes we don't get the closure we need. But karma is in uh, motion here. Everyone is getting the closure that they need, just not what they want. So just some of those loose ends. I don't know why that's uh, feeling important right now. Just some of those loose ends. Um, just aren't going to be closed. It's just some, some wounds are just going to leave a scar. There's just nothing you can do about it. There's some scars that are, uh, building and you just, you just got to let it, uh, it, it's an honor wound. Honestly, it's a life wound and we've all got them and, um, you just have to focus on, um, the future. What's in the foundation of this? What's in the foundation of this for cancer? What is this all about? What is this all about for cancer? Four of Cups, my God, my God, you've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. Here is your miracle, Cancer. Here it is. It's just really, this is a miracle. This, this is just so beautifully cleansing for you. It's just exactly what the doctor ordered for you. Just this new way to think and to believe and to know and to uh, really fall back into your faith and celebrate <laughs> celebrate there's something big coming here <laughs> beautiful it's a miracle in your eyes it's a miracle you've been staring at those three cups you've been staring at what is what is i can see it here it's in front of me it's reality it's here and uh you're moving in much much more when this big windfall comes in when this big break comes in this big lucky break you finally get to move into what could be, what could be the possibilities. Possibilities just really start opening up with the Seven of Cups where there was none. There was none. There was no possibilities. Your choices were very, very limited. So uh, this is a huge, huge opening up of the Universal Store now. It's just really take your pick. Cancer. God, this is beautiful. And all these cups, all of this beautiful Cancer energy. My God. 
All right, what else is in the foundation? The foundation of this for Cancer. Tell me about the foundation. <laughs> oh my God. Look at your ships coming in, Cancer. Your ships have come in. Yes, and you are celebrating this. You are celebrating this victory here, this brand new do-over. This do-over, this let's do it again. Let's do it again, only we're doing it right. This celebration. Oh God, this understanding of what it's all about and keeping yourself in awe because bringing in that awe, that childlike awe again, that wow, wow, uh, uh, life can be surprising. Life can be happy and joyful and um, ha just happiness really, really flowing through you again, a return of happiness to you, Cancer. God, this is beautiful. You really, this is the miracle. It's a return of you. Just a reconnection to your joy here, to your, your purpose here. Wow. All right, let's look more at the foundation. I want to see what the resistance in the, in the everyday is because, my God, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any resistance. The devil. <laughs> well, if there was ever resistance, the devil is a resistance. The devil is telling you something. What is the devil telling you right now that you can't do it or that you can't let go or that you can't walk away from that or you need this, you need this. The devil is always that whisper in our ear. You need me. You need me to live. You need me to survive. You need me uh, to make money here. So there's a, there's a lie that's being told to you, a whisper. You know, the devil always whispers, right? The devil, the devil is not a screamer. But you know what? Money talks and wealth whispers. So you are moving into a much, much different, uh, a wealthier, wealthier, much wealthier uh, environment here rather than this, rather than this lie. <laughs> Interesting. You let it go. It's just you don't believe it. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You're telling the devil, really. It's just this innocence returning back to you, this true, true innocence returning. Right? I don't believe you. I don't believe you anymore. I don't believe you when you say I can't do it. I mean, really, it's just I don't believe you. I don't believe you when you tell me this any longer. Look at the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Cancer, my God. Yeah, I don't believe you. I don't believe you any longer. Oh, this is a huge, huge revelation. A huge revelation that this has been that that energy all along. It's just been this, this attachment, this attachment to you need me to do whatever here. You know, what I'm thinking about is smoking. I've smoked almost my whole life. The thought of smoking, the thought of giving that up. How am I going to read cards? How am I going to watch TV? How am I going to take a break? When will I know a break is over if I don't have that cigarette timing me, right? That little countdown here and the thought of it was torturous and then I had to have surgery and I had to quit smoking <laughs> and it was so much easier than what I had thought it was going to be right the thought of doing that was so much harder uh, than in reality than how it really was that was the lie of the devil that you can't do it you won't be as good uh you won't be able to do this. It, it just won't feel the same here. And it's true. It feels so much different, but there's such a freedom now because I don't have that little smudge stick, you know, that little peace pipe that I used to uh, count on, right? That that Xanax that was in my cigarette, that, that break, right? So yeah, that's the lie that the devil tells us. So yeah, well, you can break free of it. You can break free of it. And when you do, it's just so very easy to break free of the devil, uh, the devil's lies because you realize, wow, we had the power all along had the power all along but that was a mental game I was playing with myself here so yeah I was allowing that in wow cancer this is beautiful this is huge 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 and a real breaking free of the devil energy here real breaking free it's it's big with all this major arcana all right last last cards in the foundation oh my god the hierophant this Taurus energy look at this earth earth energy in your foundation with uh, the devil, which is Capricorn energy, and the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. 
The fool is Aries energy and there is a fire. There is a fire, a brewing. There's a ring of fire brewing in your belly, Cancer, and there's no stopping it. It's a wildfire now. It's out of control. It has everything to do with your creativity. So that painter within you, that writer within you, that crafter within you, it's just really, really overtaking now. It's just, um, it's all you can focus on and you are, you are working toward um this grand finale this grand finale of this cycle here with the the world and the devil here and the higher i mean these major arcana absolutely absolutely with the fool uh the beginning of a brand new cycle for you so eight of swords do not get up in your head about this you deserve this you deserve this if you are thinking i can't do that because it's going to affect them too much I can't do that because when we start changing, when we start going really, really going for our dreams and desires, it shakes everyone in our lives. It, sh it rattles relationships around us because they are not used to us putting ourselves first. They are used to us taking care of them first, putting them to bed first, making sure they have something to eat first. Uh, this you first uh, systemic uh, tradition tradition right it's, it's not even our fault <laughs> it's especially as women if you're a woman listening to this but there it, it applies to absolutely all uh, uh energies here so absolutely but uh yeah because men were, were raised to be the breadwinner and to bring in the money and to support the family and there were all of these same kind of systemic pressures upon them as well so uh, we are breaking free from those attachments to that it's familiar to us it feels safe to us to follow in the lines and to not veer and to have the bumper of uh, bowling right so you can't get into the gutter you won't be homeless you won't be starving you won't be a uh, dying of disease that you can't afford health care with <laughs> so yeah of course of course you have you you have this tendency to keep uh stay in the norm here like who wants to be the first to boycott uh, paying their health insurance, right? That's terrifying because I might need that. I might need that. And that's the devil. That's the devil's lie that uh, you you can't do it without me. You can't do it without me. But you are breaking free from that. It's just really, really a beautiful escape. Escape from that lie. Escape from the lie that you aren't good enough or you are not worthy or you don't deserve this or you haven't worked hard enough. Uh, they have what they have because they must have worked harder. They must be smarter. They must have the right answers. That's all the lie. The lie is, is that they understood that that was a lie and that they could uh, obtain a real wealth in this world and real power in this world and the power was to control uh, their own greed I mean greed can get out of control here especially when you're talking about gambling and and putting money forth with this belief that you will get more back I mean that's uh, how addiction is right and gambling is absolutely an addiction because you're gonna get it back now you have to get it back now you're in too deep now right there's just this other side of it that's really scary because now you could be uh, bankrupt you know so there's so many fears around that that's why it's got to be something different than these preconceived notions of what a big windfall means so absolutely beautiful cancer my god my god Whew. tarot is all about possibility it's all about possibilities there is a possibility of real real life-changing money coming to you here cancer real life changing and a real taking control of your desires and your wants and moving forward without paying any attention to those around you. I know that's really, really difficult to do. It's almost impossible, but you can do it. You can do it. You can detach from the reactions of others to your changing and uh, those that, uh, are changing as well or is, are evolving as well will absolutely be right there with you and those that are not will naturally fall away it's not this severing that you think you have to do here it's it's the lie of the cigarette right it's just if you have any kind of addiction to anything we all have addictions to everything it could be coffee it could be anything right it could be watching tarot card readings on YouTube <laughs> which I am guilty of too <laughs> but you understand, you understand what I'm talking about here. The thought of quitting that is far, far uh, worse than actually doing it. 
than actually doing it, than actually living it, right? When actually living it is is uh, so much easier than than you think. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it here. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The choices are unlimited for you now. It's just truly, truly you found the right formula here. And uh, massive, massive uh, windfall, massive start over for you, a, a gleeful time for you, a very, very much uh, happier um, energy moving in, washing in over you. It's just a matter of cleaning out the closets, just cleaning out the clutter, cleaning out the relationships that don't are not happy for you, are not celebrating your successes with you. You just really, it just doesn't matter to you. You don't need their validation any longer. You don't need their approval any longer. So it's a true, true breaking free, just breaking those chains, just truly breaking the chains and saying, you go be all you can be, <laughs> but I'm going to do the same. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, you've got the fool here twice. So, I mean, of course, of course, you're just taking a leap of faith and you're trusting yourself and you're all in. You're all in on you. And that's a safe bet, Cancer. It's always the best bet, always safe to bet on ourselves. So I'm betting on you too. I am sending you all my love and light, Cancer. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that because it gives me so much more energy to tune into. And it really helps me to know that you're resonating with these messages. So thank you, thank you, Cancer. I will definitely tune in with you soon.